you live in Southern California and Los Angeles, you travel a lot to San Francisco, and you're also interested as a, as a big thought in whether it's possible to travel by what's called a hyperloop. In other words, you go at 800 miles right. an hour on the ground, essentially, right. like a, kind of like a train from Los Angeles to San Francisco. I mean, do we suffer from generally a kind of um, low level of ambition? Should we think bigger than HS2 and think about something like this? I, I, I think so. I mean, um for reasons beyond the objective, oh, we'll get there faster, it, it's, it's, it's like you want to do projects that are inspiring and that make people excited about the future. Um, li life's got to be about more than just solving problems. You want to get up in the morning and say, yes, I'm looking forward to that thing happening. Um, and, and I guess that was my essential disappointment with the California so-called high-speed rail. It's like I was looking at that, wow, it's, and, and it's like, well, they've got better things, in, they did better things in Japan 30 years ago. Um, They've got something way better in China. Why are we doing this and, and spending so much money on it? And it's going to take 20 years, and by that time we'll be 50 years behind what they've got in Japan. I mean, this just doesn't make sense. And we're that, behind, that was my reaction. That was your re reaction to what's happening in California. Yeah. We are behind California. Oh my God, sense. really? <laughs> <laughs> Difficult though it may be to wow. imagine. <laughs> so, so, I mean, you... <laughs> That's but, brutal. But, 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's the most unfortunate. <laughs>